Hello and welcome to update 1.34 for Gran Turismo 7 and this may be the most loved and hated update to come out so far so let's just jump straight into what has been added, changed and also adjusted so let's begin first off we have three brand new vehicles we have the Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GT Velos the Greening Auto Company Maverick as well as the Nissan GTR Nismo R32. Now the Alpha and the Nismo are going to be purchasable from the legendary dealership. We also received two new liveries for the Toyota 86 GR4 as well as the Toyota GR010 Hybrid. Now we are receiving five brand new events. One at Autopolis, there is going to be a Super Formula event. High Speed Ring, there's going to be an American Clubman Cup 700. Blue Moon Bay Speedway is going to be a Nissan GTR Cup. At Michelin, at Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta, there's going to be a Super Formula event. And at Monza Circuit, we are going to be receiving a Sunday Cup Classic. Then we have a brand new scapes. We have the Japan National Stadium and Lake District are now featured in the curation in scapes then the cafe we are in the cafe we have two extra menu books and that is for collecting SEMA GT awards vehicles this is gonna unlock at collectors level 37 and above then we have the next one which is collecting group A races which will unlock at collectors level 33 now Brand Central, we have a new museum entry for the Alfa Romeo and Ital designs. Then on purchase on the purchase screen, if a player already owns a specific color in a vehicle, it will display that okay you own this vehicle in this certain color, so you don't buy multiples of the same color. This also applies to legendary and used car dealership. And talking about the used car dealership. The tuning valuation algorithm has been adjusted to take into consideration vehicles that already have ultimate parts fitted. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this brings me on to the biggest thing of this update. Now, with GT Auto, engine swaps are now purchasable. Now, this will be under the car maintenance and service menu so where you go to change your oil this is where you will be able to engine swap your vehicle now there are certain vehicles that can be engine swapped so there is a list i will link it in the description i will also link multiple of my videos which i go through all of the engine swaps that are available in the game but this unlocks a collector's level 50 yes you have to be fully maxed out your collector's level two engine swap vehicles then in the tuning shop it's the same scenario with the collector's level because there we now have an ultimate category this is where we will be able to buy stroke up s stage 5 weight reduction ultra high rpm turbo charges just all of the rare tuning parts that are not purchasable from the tuning shop well they're in there now so then moving on to Sport mode, we now have a free practice button that has been added to championships entry screen. During daily races and qualifying time trials for final races, you can now adjust controller settings, temp temporary exposure correction and display settings from the pause menu. In multiplayer, new restrictions for engine swaps and tuning parts have been added to race regulation settings. Which means, this is what a lot of people will actually worry about. Oh no, uh, the online lobbies are going to be so unbalanced. Everyone's going to be running engine swaps and you know, crazy vehicles. Well, now they've added a feature where you can just block them out. You do not have to race against engine swaps if you do not want to. But if you do, well, you can. So, also in multiplayer during qualifying time trials and final races you can adjust the controller settings temporary exposure correction and display settings from the pause menu the same thing that you can do in sports then lastly localization they fix various text localization issues and they have 
other various issues have also been addressed. So compared to previous updates, it isn't the biggest when it comes to like, okay, we we have three calls, we used to get five, we don't have any new checks. But it's the fact that we can now purchase engine swaps and ultimate parts. That's the biggest thing to come with this update. And we have three really good vehicles. So there's nothing really to complain about. There are things that could be done. Like there are still a lot of issues in the game. But right now, I'm going to take this as a very big win and generally well done to Polyphony because this is a really good update after that patch that did nothing so yeah with all this being said thank you so much for watching i am going to be making a second update video of a different style and i just want to let you i just want you to watch it and let me know which style do you actually prefer so with all this being said thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next one peace